Welcome to Italy for the final round of the 2023 TER Series, the World Series of TER. Rally Terra Sarda embraces the north of Sardinia, the Galua region, and the world-famous Costa Smeralda. The event starts in Temple Pausania and ends in lovely Porto Cervo, bathing in the beautiful Mediterranean Sea. The 2023 season, the first year of a new TER Championship with events all around the world. The TER Series, which started in the southern New Zealand Otago region with Otago Rally. Rally Antibes Cote d'Azur in France and Seoul Rally Barbados are also feature on the calendar together with the final event at Rally Terra Sarda in Sardinia. After TER Series Round 3 in Barbados, TER Series Ambassador and 2022 Tour European Rally Champion, New Zealand's rallying hero Hayden Patton leads the series with a Hyundai i20. Ahead of the four-time French Tarmac Champion Johan Bonito's Citroën C3, Barbadian driver Stuart Maloney follows in third place. Porto Cervo, a favorite jet set location, is the perfect place to host a meeting between the organizers of the TER rallies, who exchange the flags of their respective regions. But it's also the perfect place for the TER press conference and the TER promotional events at the Rally Village Mirto, with a special guest as the Audi Quattro 80s rally idol Stig Blomquist. The 11th Rally Terra Sarda is run over two days, 11 special stages through the northern part of the beautiful Mediterranean island in the Galura and Costa Esmeralda area. At the start of the fourth and final round of the 2023 TER Series, the title is already in the pocket of New Zealand hero Hayden Patton. The fight will be for the second and third series place. Due to a problem that prevents Patton from leaving New Zealand, the TER ambassador is forced to miss Rally Terra Sarda at the last moment. Hey everyone, so uh, firstly sorry that we're unable to be in Sardinia this week for the rally. Uh, obviously we would have loved to have been there, but circumstances have meant that we've uh, had to stay in New Zealand. Uh, but we wish everyone uh, the best of luck for a rally that I thoroughly enjoyed last year. A very good rally, very good stages. It's good to see there's a lot of very strong competition uh, this year and, and for sure we'll be watching the results from afar. Uh, of course the TS Series has been a joy for us again this year, competing at both Otago and Barbados. Uh, we've enjoyed seeing the series grow and grow. And look forward to where uh, TS Series will be in 2024 and hopefully we can be part of that as well. So uh, best of luck to all competitors this weekend. Uh, we'll be watching and uh, go out there and enjoy. Noshi and Price, winner of last month's Rally Caradigian, will join Rally Terra Sarda, co-driven by the expert Stefan Prevost in a Hyundai i20N Rally 2. Yeah, very lucky to be here, to be honest. I thought uh, my season was ending in Caradigion. So, um, yeah, thanks to the organizers, we managed to work out a deal to come here and compete. And, you know, what a lovely island and great people. Um, great stages as well. Uh, completely different to what I'm used to. The Italian Giancomo Scatalone will try to be a protagonist in Sardinia with a Volkswagen Polo R5 and Saro Farnacchia at his side. Sono un 
The special stages are very technical, difficult, high-level stages. I'm here to do well. We will try to give our best and reach an excellent final position. Second in the TER Junior 2017 and for the second time at the Rally Terrasarda, the 2023 Danish Vice Champion, Simone Valentin, will compete with a Hyundai i20N Rally 2. For sure, it's, uh, it's uh, been been uh, you know one year uh, and I missed missed it uh, missed the, the rally so for sure we come back here uh, okay the stages are, are really challenging uh, we have three new stages uh, from this year uh, it's the challenging is really really hard returning to rallies after a few years Ukrainian model Inessa Tushkanova debuts in a Skoda Fabia rally 2 with the expert French co-driver Jessica James I drive the first time uh, Škoda R5 with uh, Jessica James, also first time, so we try to get uh, the contact, so I do a little bit to try on the shakedown. A sunny day greets the crews of Rally Terrasarda for the shakedown and the opening loop of stages around Temple Pausania. Making his debut in a Hyundai i20N Rally 2, the British Oshian Price and Belgian Stefan Prevost are the fastest in the opening stage, 2.2 seconds ahead of Giancomo Scatalone and Sauro Farnacchia's Volkswagen. The Italian reacts immediately on the next test, signs the scratch and overtakes Price by two tenths after two special stages. Right from the start, it seems that the fight at Rally Terrasarda will be between the Welshman and the Italian. Good start and third position for Rudy Andriolio and Mauro Manigan, who with their Skoda Fabia are just 5.2 seconds behind the leader. Danish Simon Valentin with Peter Eggholm at his side is fourth in his Hyundai after the first loop of stages. 16.7 seconds from the lead and 1.3 seconds ahead of the Skoda Fabia Rally 2 of Loris Ronzano and Gloria Andreas. Sixth place for the locals Aro CD and Giuseppe Macchioni. 1.7 seconds ahead of the Turkish Burak Kukurova, both in the Skoda Fabia. Casaloni follows eighth ahead of Ronnie Carayu, son of the founder of Porto Cervo Racing, the organizing team of the Rally Terra Sarda. Greek Sotiris Yurimiadis, co-driven by the 2023 Italian rally champion Pietro Ometto, closes the top 10. Unlucky start for the TER ladies. Raquel Somaschini, co-driven by Fabio Salas, is forced to abandon the rally due to a mechanical failure in the second test. In the same special stage, Inessa Tushkanova had a failure in the wheel studs and is forced to retire. I think driving car, yeah, but... What is it? In the wheel. Oh, no. Yes.
Giancomo Scatalone leads the rally after two special stages. The Rally Terrasarda is also involved in the social. Among the many initiatives, children participating in theoretical lessons on safe driving during the rally and collaboration with UNICEF. Three stages form the afternoon loop. The sunny weather accompanies the drivers on the technical Sardinian tarmac stages, full of fans. Six right shot, the 20. Open. Price is the fastest in SS3 and Open back in the lead. Right the feeling with his Hyundai grow up stage by stage. He loses one second on the fourth test, but he wins the fifth and ends the first day 6.8 seconds ahead of Scatalon. The Italian is very fast in his polo, and already after the first day of competition, a great battle for the final victory promises to be on. Andreolio is third with his Fabia Rally 2, 19.3 seconds behind the leader, ahead of Simone Valentin, who is in an epic battle with Ronzano. The two, stage after stage, exchange positions, and at the end of the day, the Danish has just 1.8 seconds ahead of the Skoda driver. Sixth place for CD Skoda. 6.5 seconds behind Ronzano and 13.4 seconds ahead of Jeremy Ari. 24 left stay and Hebel one right gravel. When he was in seventh position, the three time Turkish champion Burak Kukurova with Burak Akai at his side on a Skoda Fabia R5. Due to a problem with the right rear wheel, lost precious time on the final stage and stopped on the last road section. Baltolu is impressive to see how fast he is in his Clio. The French driver from Corsica is eighth and precedes the two Skodas of Kako and Piskiadu, who closes the top ten. After an excellent start for him, Ronnie Karayu and Pietro Katu retired on the third test while they were in ninth place. In the overall classification outside TER, the Ford Fiesta WRC Plus of local Vittorio Muselli is fourth. Oshian Price and Stefan Prevo lead Rally Terra Sarda after the first day. A wonderful sunny autumn day is the backdrop for the second day of action over the challenging stages of the Costa Esmeralda area. SS6, the TER Power Stage, as per series regulations, awards three, two, and one bonus points for championship standings to the three fastest drivers. With a power stage victory, Oshian Price and Giancomo Scatalone would take the second position in the final standings of the series behind Patton. Open three left in and open up in right in. 20. Price sets the best time, takes three additional points, and precedes his rival Scatalone by 13.2 seconds. Uh -huh. 
Third stage time for Andreolio, who takes one bonus point. Scatalone tries to react. He is the fastest in the seventh special stage by three tenths, but in the next one has a mechanical failure, loses more than two minutes, and is forced to abandon the rally after the stage, leaving second place to Andreolio. The Italian, after eight special stages, precedes Valentin's Hyundai by 28.2 seconds. Fifth after SS7, very fast from the start. Loris Ronzano and Gloria Andres go off the road in the eighth test, stuck in the ditch, and are forced to retire. With the abandonment of Scatalone and Ronzano, CD climbs back to fourth place, 14 seconds over Yurimiades. And five right cut, and four left minus cut. Continuing an excellent Rally Terrasarda for Pierre Paul Baltolu, who is six with a two wheel drive car, just one tenth over Kako and Diana Skoda. The Slovenian Sendrak is ninth, ahead of the Swiss Mela, who sets a third best time in Special Stage 7, and closes the provisionary top 10. The Turkish Burak Kukurova restarts in the second day according to the Super Rally regulation, like Karayu, who sets excellent times. Same choice to restart after the withdrawal on the first day. Also for Inessa Tushkanova and Jessica James, who try to find the right feeling with their Fabia and try to give a bit of a show to the enthusiasts who arrived in Sardinia to follow the model. Oshi and Price leads the rally after eight special stages. Costa Smeralda is a world-famous tourist destination in the northeast part of Sardinia. The sun-soaked, jet-set holiday location boasting white sand beaches, top-class services, and locations such as glamorous Porto Cervo, Sardinia, and the Costa Smeralda are ready to welcome you. Three more stages before the end of the 2023 Rally Terra Sarda. Oshian Price is very close to his first victory in Italy and to take the silver in the World Series of TER. Still a lot to play for, and as usual, anything can still happen. In the overall classification outside the TER, third step of the podium for local hero Vittorio Muselli, co-driven by Claudio Mele with a Ford Fiesta WRC+. Positive returns to a rally for Inessa Tushkanova, who, co-driven by Jessica James, concluded the rally in her first experience in a Rally 2 car. Tenth and final place in TER Series for Tenozi Skoda Fabia, just five tenths behind Stefano Mella, who also sets the best time in the ninth special stage. After an excellent Rally Terrasarda for him, Pierre Paul Baltolu took seventh place with his Renault Clio Rally 4, just six tenths ahead of Brigagalia's Skoda. Sixth at the end, Roberto Caco and Sergio Diana concluded an amazing race with their Fabia. Easy right. Impressive first participation in the TER for the Greek Sotiris Yermiadis and Italian Pietro Meto, who with a Skoda Fabia Rally 2 finished fifth in the TER series. Oro Sidi and Giuseppe Macchioni achieve an excellent fourth final place.
An excellent return after one year for Simone Valentin. The 2023 Danish vice champion, co-driven by Peter Eggholm, definitely earned his bronze medal with their Hyundai. In their first participation in a TER series event, Rudy Andreolio and Manuel Menegan climb onto the second step of the podium. What a season in TER, and what an event in Sardinia. Six fastest stage times on their debut in a Hyundai i20N Rally 2. Oshian Price and Stefan Prevost are the winners of Rally Terra Sarda, conquer the Tour European Rally title, and take second place in the 2023 TER Series. 100 of a finish. Yeah, very happy. Um, it's been a good weekend for us. Uh, car's been good, team have been good. And uh, yeah, thank you to everybody who made this happen. It's been a wonderful opportunity and uh, a nice bonus to end the year off. Um, yeah, very, very happy and um, happy with what we've achieved. And uh, let's see what happens next year. Hayden Patton and John Kennard are the 2023 TER Series Champions. Glamorous Porto Cervo and Hotel Luci di La Montagna provided the ideal location for the 2023 TER prize giving and award ceremonies. 